Carolina, a major bust of deadly drugs on Colorado streets. The DEA seizing tens of thousands of fentanyl pills in just one week. The agency warning Mexican drug cartels are not slowing down production and distribution of what they call this poison. Fox City One's Nate Bell joins us with a closer look at those numbers and a growing concern now. Nate. Uh, Erica, 570,000 fentanyl pills seized in one drug bust by the DEA earlier this month here in Colorado. That is enough to account for 22% of all of the fentanyl pills taken in in all of 2023. Now, it's a problem that a research firm here in the state says isn't just sticking around, it's getting worse. In 2023, Common Sense Institute says that the DEA seized 425.6 kilograms of fentanyl. Enough fentanyl to kill every Coloradan 36 times. Drugs that contributed to more than 1,200 fentanyl overdoses in the state in the same year. That is more than there were murder victims in 2021, 2022, and 2023 combined. And researcher DJ Summer says on top of the rising death toll, the ongoing crisis is costing taxpayer dollars at a staggering rate, according to a new report from CSI. All of the people who died from a fentanyl overdose in 2023, you take all those costs up and it's $16 billion. That's how much is being taken taken out of the economy. Economic impact lost and more money spent every year to fight it. It costs a lot of money just to keep on top of all of this in a proactive enough way that more people don't die. Summer says it's often hard for people to connect with an issue that they may not realize is impacting them, so he hopes CSI's new report sheds light on the growing issue. It does not go away simply by turning a blind eye to it, by hoping that it only impacts people in the farther corners of society. Uh, last year, the DEA seized 2.6 million fentanyl pills here in Colorado. That was a state record that it says it is well on its way to surpassing here this year. Reporting live in Denver, Nate Bell, Fox 31. All right, Nate, thank you.